Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you why I just bought into Microsoft. Huge company, household name, but why am I buying in today? I mean, hasn't that ship kind of sailed? That's what we're talking about. So strap in. So Microsoft was founded, guys. Again, not it's not... It's not like this isn't a household. Everyone knows Microsoft, right? They were founded all the way in 1975. 1975. Been around for a minute, right? They just recently achieved a $3 trillion. Blows my mind to think about it, guys, that Microsoft is now a $3 trillion. Trillion market capitalization company. Crazy that Microsoft is this big. But why are we buying it? Why is Microsoft a buy today? That's what we're going to talk about. All right. And... I mean, we cannot, we cannot erase the global impact of this company. They provide products and services that are used widely all across the world. So let's look at what those products and what those services are, because this is very telling. There's really four categories that you could put their products and services into. And the first one is software. That's where it all started. Their software, whether it's their Windows operating system or their Microsoft Office suite, that's the first bucket. Second one is hardware hardware it, it, whether it's gaming devices or personal computing devices microsoft is building hardware the third segment is cloud computing relatively new but there is your and other cloud services major part of their company we're going to look at just how big it is in just one minute and then finally the fourth one this is the one that i'm most excited about and that is artificial intelligence don't get me wrong microsoft is an AI company. If you're looking for an AI company, Microsoft checks that box like crazy. Their AI tools and their platform integration across all their services is huge. All right, but when we look at the financial performance in the last quarter, it's really telling to see where the money's coming from. Because remember how like Microsoft started with their Windows operating system, right? Like that was where the company began. Most recent quarter, only 8.5% of their revenue came from Windows. Blows my mind to think that less than 10%, guys, less than 10% is coming from Windows today. Office Suite. So Office Suite is a little bit more. It's a subscription-based uh, service. 21.7% in the last quarter. So put them together and their software generates about a third of 30% of their revenue. But check this out. This is absolutely mind blowing again. Their intelligent cloud, their cloud services, guys, is nearly 42% of their revenue. You cannot devalue that. That is, that is massive. That is huge that Microsoft is generating so much money through their online cloud services. And that's not going away anytime soon, guys, as everyone is still moving to the cloud. But we got to talk about strategy, guys, because... When it comes to why I'm buying into Microsoft today, it's not about what they did. It's not It's not about the fact that they're a $3 trillion company because I like growth stocks. I'm all about growth stocks. If the stock isn't going to grow, if it isn't going to beat the market, I don't want it. All right, so why Microsoft? It's their strategy, their initiatives that they're dipping their hand into. We gotta talk about AI. Very pumped about AI. It is not a fad, AI is here to stay. So they have emphasized their AI integration into all of their tools. And that's been led by their CEO, Satya Nadala. And he has been pushing hard for this. Their co-pilot AI assistant, which is based on OpenAI's chat GPT, is integrated into their services. They're also building a new AI hub in London. And there's also a bunch of AI developments that they're doing with Azure, through Xbox, so AI guys, massive. That's the first piece of their strategic initiatives is a big push towards AI. The second huge thing that they're leaning on right now that they're investing a lot of money in is their cloud services. Remember, 42% of their revenue is coming from the cloud. They are pushing that. They're enhancing the Azure capabilities. They're, they're integrating AI into their Dynamics 365 software. A lot of initiatives right now around cloud services and then gaming you've got to, you got to put gaming in there guys because microsoft is leaning heavily they're investing a lot of money into gaming specifically they just acquired activision blizzard which is actually one of the other stocks i had bought into before 
and then they got acquired by Microsoft, which really made me start thinking, maybe Microsoft is a play. Maybe, maybe that's the company I need a piece of. Uh, they've also developed an AI chatbot for the Xbox platform, so that is ongoing. That's in ongoing development, and um, I'm excited to see what's going to come out of that. So research and innovation is huge at Microsoft, and no matter what their strategy is, you can you can rest assured that Microsoft is taking a large amount of money, putting it on into R&D, and they have a long-term commitment, a long-term commitment to research. So they're engaged in ongoing research for technological investments, uh, uh, advancements across the spectrum. One of the things that's really got my attention is how much money they're pouring into quantum computing. Quantum computing right now is like on the fringe. Like it's something that it, it, it ha we haven't had any major breakthroughs in a while, but Microsoft actually has partnered with Quantinuum, which is a quantum computing company and they just recently actually had a major breakthrough in their in stable qubits development, which a very technical, um, very technical subject is a, probably a subject for another video. But quantum computing has the potential to change the world forever. It has the potential of taking AI to to a level that is absolutely just unfeasible at this point. So, uh, you know, Microsoft is, they're trying to get into this game early. I'm excited to see where that goes. So those are all the main reasons for why I'm buying the stock, but I got to talk just a little bit about the challenges because I don't want to give you all the buttercups. You know, I don't want to give you just all the good stuff without being real and giving you all the other side of the picture. And that's what I really like to do in these videos. So one big thing is antitrust concerns. The impact of global regulatory, the environment in the world right now when it comes to these global regulatory um, moves it, on acquisition specifically is something we've got to keep in mind. Specifically, look at all the challenges that Microsoft faced when they were trying to acquire Activision. The antitrust concerns is huge. And there, I think there's a lot of scrutiny around these mega corporations that's trying to prevent them from acquiring more and more companies. And of course, Microsoft is trying to acquire like crazy as they grow into these new areas. Also, we have got to talk about the concern of employee retention. Microsoft is at risk of losing key employees as it's in a very competitive market right now. Everybody's willing to pay top dollar for the top AI minds out there. And that's exactly what's happening with Microsoft. There is the potential impact of departures on the company's strength and innovation. So when we look at uh, when we look at Microsoft as a whole, when we look at whether or not we should invest in it, what's our perspective? I think this really, Microsoft, when I look at my overall portfolio, this is where I see Microsoft. They are a company that provides stability and growth, stability and growth. They are a stabilizing investment in my portfolio, but they also have the potential for strong returns. So I love to add companies of this size and magnitude into my portfolio because they serve as the foundation. So who is the stock recommended for? Well, it's highly recommended for investors that are looking for a dominant and yet innovative tech company. Microsoft checks all those boxes absolutely 100%. But who is this who's this company suitable for? Well, it's ideal again. It's ideal if you're looking for a robust innovative technology investment, Microsoft is a great choice. But however, a lot of y'all are looking for smaller, high growth companies. If you're looking for that or maybe you already have a sufficient exposure to big tech, maybe then you stay away from Microsoft. I want to know what you all think, guys. Leave a comment. Tell me what you're thinking about Microsoft. Are you already bought in? You think it's trash? Let me know in the comments. Let's have a good conversation. Leave a like on this video, guys, if you liked it, and subscribe. I really appreciate y'all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.